Hey guys, welcome to Body Geeks. As always, I'm your host, Brandon Gertis, and today we're gonna to break down energy production. The first thing we'll talk about is AMP-K. AMP-K is the process that the cell will go under when it starts burning things for energy. How do we activate AMP-K? There are several different supplements that have been proven to help activate AMP-K or make AMP-K run harder, but the easiest thing you could do to activate AMP-K is start moving. Exercise. When we put a muscle under a stress, so like weight training, we end up activating AMP-K because the muscle cells start recognizing that they need energy. And when they need energy, the body's gonna start going through all of its processes to make that happen. The good things that happen whenever we activate AMP-K is that we get an increase in glucose uptake, which means that the, the food that you consume that turns into sugar in the blood will start getting absorbed by the muscle. It's a very good thing because the more that we can absorb, the more fuel the muscle will have to keep pushing hard. We're also generating energy. so. It's like putting gasoline in the tank of your car and getting the gasoline from the tank into the motor so we could rev the motor harder. The harder you rev the motor, the more gas is gonna be sucked into the engine. The other benefit of AMP-K is that it's gonna inhibit fat building. So if you have an excess of calories or excess glucose in the bloodstream with insulin, it's not gonna be taking that and shoving it into fat cells. It's not gonna be building fat in the process. The one bad thing about having AMP-K active is that we're gonna inhibit protein synthesis. Protein, protein synthesis is the rebuilding of muscle tissue. So if AMP-K is the process of the cell, which is everything burning all the time, open up the gates, let all the energy in, process it, burn it as quick as we can, we're also gonna prevent ourselves from actually building new tissue. Okay. All right guys, so now that we have a better understanding of what AMP-K is, I wanna talk about two more things that'll play a role in this whole process here. First one of those things is going to be called GLUT4. GLUT4 is a transporter. What it does is it'll help take glucose from the bloodstream into the muscle cell. Now, I know you just said, well, AMP-K does that. Well, AMP-K needs a friend to help him move shit. GLUT4 helps do that. The best thing that activates GLUT4 is insulin. Insulin gets produced and released when blood sugar gets too high. That's our body's way of regulating how much blood sugar we have. And it's a storage hormone. So when insulin's cr like cruising around, activating GLUT4, telling the cells, hey, soak up glucose, soak up everything, this and that. It's gonna do that to both muscle cells and fat cells. So insulin is gonna cause storage in the muscle and in fat. The cool thing that insulin will do is that it turns off the burning processes. So I just hyped up AMP-K, made it sound like it's the best thing in the world. And it is when you need energy. But when you need recovery, we need to turn it off. We need to, we need to be able to rebuild and store things and build them up. So you may have heard somebody tell you, hey, have like some sugar after a workout or have some type of carbohydrate with a fast digesting protein. They're telling you this because the fast digesting protein and the fast digesting sugar are gonna spike insulin. Insulin is gonna come around. It's gonna activate GLUT4. So all the cells are pulling things in. They're soaking up everything from the blood and it turns off AMP-K. So after our exercise, we got all hyped up. We turned on AMP-K. We burnt everything in the building. We kicked ass, the muscle performed hard. We're gonna turn the motor off. We're gonna chill that out. We're gonna store everything so we have energy and a process to start rebuilding stuff. All right, everyone, chill. Chill, chill. So that's how that energy process is gonna happen at the cellular level during a workout. I haven't even really even talked about how protein fits into all of this stuff and protein synthesis. So we'll save that for a future video. Until next time, thanks for watching Body Geeks.